Welcome to video number 22 for Control Shift Enter Mastering Excel Array Formulas. Hey, we're in the Workbook Array Formula DVD book Start on the Sheet Topics. Hey, uh, last video we talked about conditional formatting. This video and next video we want to talk about a couple array functions. We're going to talk about mo.mult. I'm going to click on the link for Sheet 22. I'm jumped all the way to Sheet 22. Now, the mode calculation. In versions before 2010, it was no problem. We used the mode function. And in 2010, there's two new functions that we'll talk about in just a second. This one down at the bottom with that little triangle, that little triangle means compatibility mode. That means if you're using 2010, you should use one of these functions up here. But in earlier versions, we had just this, the mode. And the mode, when it came to looking at numbers, just found the one that occurred most frequently. It's a type of average. So no problem. It looked through there, and it tells you the one that occurs most frequently is 5. The problem is this has multiple modes. There's 5 listed 4 times, 6, 0, and 9. Now in 2010, if you don't want to use the compatibility function, you can use mode.single. It does exactly the same thing as the mode function. Now in 2010, a lot of the statistical functions got um, an overhaul, and this dot convention got used. That way you could distinguish between calculating a mode, just the single mode, or the multiple mode, which we'll use in just a second. Just enter it like that. It calculates exactly the same. Now, mode.mult, absolutely beautiful. It will report all of the modes that it finds. Remember, there's a bunch of values that occur four times each. Now, this is an array function. So you highlight as many cells as possible in advance. And sometimes it's just not possible to know how many modes you have. So you highlight more than you think you'll ever get. And this is an array function. So you type equals mode dot mult, highlight the numbers. And array functions must be entered with Control Shift Enter. And you can leave that parentheses off. It will um, put it in for you. Ready? Control Shift and Enter. So this is the quick and dirty method, because then it shows some NAs. But no problem. That's just amazing how quick and easy it is to do that. Now, if you wanted to show these uh, horizontally, check this out. Let's highlight this in F9. Oh, we know from our study of array syntax that is a column of values, because semicolon in array syntax means go down a row. So if you want to list it horizontally and you try the mode dot mult, it is not going to behave. It's going to show you just the first one over and over. But no problem. We know how to do this from earlier videos. Transpose takes this column, or the items listed in as you go down in rows, and now we'll list them across the columns. Control Shift Enter. And there you go, the quick and dirty way. Now, sometimes you have a data set, and the actual values are changing regularly. And you'd like something a little bit cleaner than this. No problem. We can do that. Now, the first thing is, oh, and we're just going to do a simple, I'm going to cheat and copy this, right? We know that this value, and I'm going to lock it too. This, oh, it's delivering an array of values. So not only can I build a formula to count how many there are, I can build a data extraction formula that will extract them as I go down vertically. And when it gets past the count of four, I'll show a null text string. Ready? Control Z. Well, watch this. If I want to count, and when this function first came out, I tried, you know, I thought this was an array function, so I dealt with it like an array function. But watch this. We can put mo.mult, which is returning what right now? Four values listed vertically. You can just put it inside of the count. The count function counts numbers and hit Enter. Now when I first did this, I, I mean, when I first did it, I did Control Shift Enter. And I looked up here and I went, oh, cool. The curly brackets are there. But then I tried it without it. 
just control enter, no curly brackets, and I was thinking, well, maybe that's wrong. Maybe that's from implicit intersection because we're next to the data set. Dragged it down here. No, it seems to be working no matter where I put this. So that certainly is, I don't know what it is, but an anomaly in this array function. But that's cool. I have my count. Now, guess what? I can just use this, F9. That's an array of values, Control-Z, Control-C. I can use that in an index uh, lookup function to look up the first, the second, the third, the fourth as I copy my formula down vertically. Now, I want to show blanks when it gets uh, past a count of four. So I'm going to say equals if. And I'm in cell B22. Right? And I want my number incrementer, meaning inside the formula, I need something that shows me 1, 2, 3, 4. So I use rows. B dollar sign 22 colon B22. That's an expandable range with the row locked. This will give me 1, 2, 3 as I copy down. So I'm going to say number incrementer anytime you're greater than the count F4, comma, the value if true. I want null text string to show nothing. Otherwise, Please run my index. Now, the array is simply going to be, hey, that right there, comma, and the row number, my number incrementer. Absolutely beautiful. I can close this off because I don't need column. Close this off. Close this off. And there's the value of false and simply. Control Enter. No Control Shift Enter here. Not only would um, this mode.mult seems to be working inside of functions. But even if it was a regular array function, remember, index array argument can handle array calculations. So Control Enter and copy it down. What's so nice about this is if the data changes, right? I change this to a, a 10, right? Now I see just the modes displays and no NAs. Uh, I see null text strings instead, Control Z. Now, what if I wanted to show these listed horizontally, no problem. Instead of using the rows, in fact, I can just copy this. Watch this, copy this. Instead of using the rows, I'm going to use columns. So I'm going to Control-V, and I need to change this. And I use columns instead of rows. Now, I'm in D29, so I type dollar sign in front of the column reference 29, colon D29. That'll lock it uh, when I go this way on the D, and then this D will move to E and then F. So anytime that number incrementer when going horizontally is greater than the hurdle, I'll show null text string. Otherwise, run this. And guess what? The And let me just delete this. So this will work. All right, value of false, I got that. And then simply Control Enter, no Control Shift Enter. All right, so when I copy that over, if I change this to 12, boom, it's working either way I go. Now notice here, we ran if and columns with a, a logical test here, and then ran the index. If this comes out false, then it doesn't run the index. It just uh, lists a null text string. But you know, I don't think this is ever going to get too big. So you can just do if error. And watch this. We're going to control, whoops. I'm going to do this uh, vertically, but it'll work horizontally also. Uh, that is index the mode.mult in rows. That's just our little bloop, copy it, and it extracts it one by one. I could use if error, control V, and then comma. If it's an error, which means the NA, then just do double quote. Control Enter, double click and send it down. Now if I change this to 500 or whatever, boom, there it is. So either one of those will work. You like that? That's a little bit shorter. Control Z. All right, that's a lot about the mo.mult function, a new function in Excel 2010. In our next video, we'll see another array function, the line st or line est function. All right, we'll see you next video.